today I'm talking about a comparative analysis and study on lunar hopping guidance navigation and control algorithm in the view of NASA's Artemis mission that sends astronauts to the moon by the late 2020s. There is growing interest to the lunar exploration programs. Lunar hopper technologies are seen as one of the most important tools for the efficient lunar surface exploration. At the same time, there is significant progress in machine learning technologies. With these two trends in mind, this research studies how the machine learning technologies can contribute to the lunar hopper control problems. The goal of the project is understand differences between classical controls and machine learning based approaches. More specifically, test and compare the following approaches in lunar hopper like environment. Linear quadratic tracking or LQT. Reinforcement learning or RL. Linear quadratic tracking with Learning Based Reference Trajectory Optimization, or LQTRTO. Most importantly, three algorithms have different characteristics. LQT is an analytical approach, which will be used as a benchmark basis for comparative analysis with learning based approaches. RL is learning approach and LQTRTO is a combination of analytical and learning approach. In order to confirm the behavior of three control algorithms, the three control algorithms were tested in a simpler setting first, before applied to the lunar hopper simulation, which is relatively more complicated. This is the problem formulation. The state X changes through the control inputs U under the dynamics F. The states X and control inputs U are continuous. And the problem is to find a set of control inputs that maximizes the reward to receive. This is the dynamics of the plant. The dynamics of the plant is essentially equivalent to Newton's second law. The velocity changes subject to the force input and gravity, and the angular velocity changes according to the torque made by the control inputs. In this study, some simplification were used. The fuel is infinite. The mass of the spacecraft does not change. Lunar rotation was not considered. The gravity of Earth and Sun were not considered. Reward function is based on the default setting of Lunar Lander Continuous V2 Simulation from OpenAI Gym. If Lander crashes or comes to rest at the end of the episode, receiving additional minus 100 points or plus 100 points, if Lander moves away from the goal, it loses reward back from 200 points. Firing main engine is minus 0.3 points and firing side engine is minus 0.03 points each frame. First, linear quadratic tracking or LQT was developed. LQT is a sort of optimal control algorithm that minimizes errors from the user set reference trajectory. State space representation was developed as shown in this slide. Then the optimal control gain was calculated by solving the Riccati equation shown in the bottom line. The LQT controller provides a set of optimal actions with respect to the reference trajectory. Therefore, the shape of reference trajectory also has a big impact on the overall performance of the controller. The ideal trajectory is a straight line 
from the top of the screen to the goal point that is set in between two yellow flags on the ground. And the velocity and angle of the spacecraft should be stabilized to near zero to make a stable landing. Therefore, the function was designed to have zeros except for the vertical position y difference. Moreover, y difference is designed using a function f equal y over k. In this setting, k equal 1 indicates an action staying at the same height. k larger than 1 indicates going down. k smaller than 1 indicates going up. K changes the approaching speed to the target and consequently fuel consumption. K was set to 1.6, a constant value, by a heuristic tuning. This video shows the result of applying the designed LQT controller to the lunar landing simulation. The spacecraft successfully navigated itself to the goal point in between two yellow flags. These graphs show the simulation result of LQT control algorithm. It can be observed that all the state variables converge to zero. In summary, the average score of LQT simulation was 281.5. LQT analytically provides optimal actions under the design objective function and reference trajectory. I used the resulting score as a benchmark for a comparative analysis with other two machine learning based algorithms. The second algorithm was Reinforcement learning based control algorithm. Control profile was acquired through the reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning finds a set of optimal actions that maximize rewards to receive. Deep deterministic policy gradient or DDPG was selected as a learning method. This video shows the training process of reinforcement learning. As seen in this video, the spacecraft learned to make a successful landing as the number of training episodes increases. These graphs show the result of reinforcement learning simulation. Looking at the red circles, it was observed reinforcement learning obtained a velocity profile that is similar to the LQT simulation without knowing the dynamics of the environment nor structure of feedback control. The third algorithm was combination of LQT and RL. The parameter k that is used to tune the reference trajectory in LQT was optimized through the reinforcement learning. In the LQT algorithm, the value of k was tuned heuristically on a try and error basis. In the third algorithm, LQT RTO, instead, the value of k was tuned through the reinforcement learning. This video shows the training process of LQT RTO. As seen in this video, the spacecraft learned to make a successful landing as the number of training episodes increases. These graphs show the simulation result of LQT RTO control algorithm. It can be observed that all the state variables converge to zero. This graph shows the profile of k value that was acquired 
by the reinforcement learning. In LQT, the value k was set to a constant value of 1.6. On the other hand, in LQT RTO, more optimal profile of k was obtained that has a large value at the beginning and small value in the middle and a large value again at the end, which represents a faster approach at the start and the acceleration in the middle and a faster approach again from the last short distance that is short enough not to cause a crash on the spacecraft upon the landing. These figures show the reward of hundred simulation cases of the three control algorithms. As shown here, three control algorithms presented almost the same performance. This is, I believe, because the simulation was simple and the heuristic tuning of parameter k in LQT algorithms worked well. In summary, for the lunar landing simulation, there were no large differences among the three algorithms with respect to the performance. The simulation was simple enough so that the heuristic tuning worked well. Next, we moved on to the simulation in a more complicated environment, which may shed light on the differences of three algorithms. The three algorithms were applied to the lunar hopper-like simulation environment. The key difference from the lunar landing simulation is the spacecraft has to go over obstacles lying in between the start and goal point, so that the design of reference trajectory becomes less intuitive. Upon this change, two observables, XOB, a distance from horizontal obstacle and YOB, a distance from vertical obstacle, were added to let the system consider the obstacle avoidance. Also, the design of reward function was modified as shown in this slide. I made some changes to the LQT algorithm to cope with the difference of the simulation environment. The first change was I divided the entire sequence into two phases, approaching phase and landing phase. And then for the landing phase, I reused the same reference trajectory as I designed in the previous problem. For the approaching phase, I designed a new difference trajectory using two functions, f1 and f2. The first function f1 equal x over k1 gives a transition in the horizontal direction with a parameter k1 that changes the horizontal approaching speed to the target. The second function F2 provides a vertical move against obstacles ahead of the spacecraft. Briefly speaking, the parameter K2 changes a magnitude of vertical position increase as approaching to the horizontal obstacles. This movie shows the simulation result of the modified LQT algorithm in the Hopper simulation. The spacecraft successfully navigated itself to the goal point. Similar to the lunar landing simulation, I applied the reinforcement learning to the hopper simulation. The only difference was that I added two observables x, o, b, and y, o, v to the state matrix x. This movie shows the simulation result of the RL algorithm in the Hopper simulation. As you can see, the trajectory 
was more optimized and the velocity of the spacecraft became faster. As a result, RL provided a higher average score, but also presented a landing failure case as marked in the red circle. This result is consistent with the fact that it is theoretically impossible to guarantee the stability of the controller and there's a limited number of training episodes in the reinforcement learning scheme. Finally, LQTRTO was also applied to a hopper simulation. This time, the value of tuning parameters K1 and K2 were optimized through the reinforcement learning. This movie shows the simulation result of the LQTRTO algorithm in a hopper simulation. The velocity and path were optimized while keeping the structure of the reference trajectory function I designed. As a result, the performance of LQT was improved by the reinforcement learning in LQT-RTO algorithm. This figure shows an obtained profile of parameter K1. The value of K1 became larger, and that implied a faster move in the horizontal direction. This figure shows an obtained profile of parameter K2. The value of K2 became smaller, and that implied a smaller move upon the obstacle avoidance. In summary, three control algorithms provided different performances. The average score was 829.1 for LQT. 879.0 for RL and 863.6 for LQT RTO. Performance of LQT was improved through the reinforcement learning in LQT RTO. RL provided the highest average score but also landing failure cases. It is theoretically impossible to guarantee the stability of the controller with a limited number of training episodes in the enforcement learning scheme. This is conclusion. Three control algorithms were tested and compared in two different simulation environments. In the lunar landing simulation, which is simpler case, Three algorithms presented almost the same performances. In the lunar hopper simulation, which is relatively complicated case, three algorithms provided different performances. RL provided the highest average score, but also presented a landing failure. LQT-RTO outperformed LQT and made successful landings for all the cases. Therefore, I consider LQT-RTO is a safer and efficient option in this program setting. This is the end of presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.